haven't heard that one. The bronchi. The bronchi. Very good. Excellent. Claire, is there any up here that ha you guys haven't seen? Trachea. Okay. Go ahead and put that in. Uh, and then Lizzie, any that aren't up there yet? Uh, mouth. Mouth. Good. So if you just announce one, let's go ahead and get them up on the board. And look at our board. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We should have 15. Oh, gosh, forgot a table. Yes, Eve. Um, alveoli. Alveoli, all right. Sounds good. Ryan, what about your table? Uh, your, all the ones you guys have listed have been up there? Okay, perfect. So we have 14. Try exiting out and getting back in. Okay. Or refreshing. Sometimes just this simple refresh helps the world. Oh, wow. Okay. Now look at this list. Bronchi, heart, heart twice, trachea, capillaries, esophagus, nose, pharynx, lungs, larynx, diaphragm. All right, are there any on there? Let's go ahead and share with our whole tables now. And we could put our markers back on. Caps on. We're not going to need our markers again. Share with your table mates. Are there any on this list that you think should be removed? Go ahead and share with your seat partners. And I want you to come up with some evidence why you believe that. So are there any on here, ladies and gents, you think shouldn't be on there? Or do you think they all belong? You could say that if you think they all belong, that's fine. I think the capillaries. Wait, I don't know. The capillaries you think could be one? What about you, TJ? What do you think? I think they're all fine up there. You think they're all good? Yeah. Okay. All right. Emma, what do you think? They're all good? I'm not sure about the heart. The heart is a question. Okay. Eve? The esophagus because it's part of the digestive system. Oh, it is. Is it? Hmm. Okay, what, do you, what about your table? Esophagus. Rachel? Esophagus. Esophagus? Oh, we're starting to see something. Jeff? Um, one in the second part because I accidentally <laughs> That's okay. It made a mistake. Okay. And, uh, nose. The nose, okay. So sure okay, sure. Jamie, any on that list that you think? Um, capillaries because they're not organs. They're not organs, okay. Sure. Okay, there are definitely one, two, three that I would remove. And those three, I'm going to go on over and take them off. Heart. Heart. And the capillaries. Okay. But there's some that are missing. Does anyone see anything they would like to add? Go ahead and talk with your table mates again and see is there anything that you would like to add? What would you guys like to add? Alveolis. Say it together. Alveolis. Okay, I like it. So far, so good. Anything you guys, ladies, would like to see added to the list? Alveolis. Are you sure? Do you know what those are? Okay. Do you just want to copy the next table? Well, that was very creative. The navel cavity. Okay. All right. Anything you ladies would like to see added to the list? The sinuses. Okay. Anything you your table would like to see, engineers? Nope. You're good. Thomas, one that you would like to see added to the list? The epiglottis. Hmm. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and add a few more. Somebody said the alveoli, and that's good, a good one. So um, my athletic trainer, somebody at your table can go ahead and add the alveoli. Somebody said sinuses. Sinuses aren't, they're part of your respiratory system, but they're located, it's in the fluid in your nasal passage. And then someone did say nasal cavity, which I really appreciate, but we would just label that as the nose, because that would be the passageway. But there are a few that are missing on here. Um, Thomas, what was the one that your table came up with? Uh, 
the epiglottis. You can go ahead and add that in. Okay, the epiglottis is a flap. It's really, really important. Does anyone know why it's so important? Because when that flap's open, something gets in your windpipe. Does anyone know what it is? No, no not oxygen. Good guess. Food or fluid, right? That's when all of a sudden you say something went down the wrong tube. Have you ever heard that term before? That's because the epiglottis didn't respond fast enough and it kept it open and ooh, what's your reflex to do? Cough. Yeah, cough, right? You cough immediately and sometimes it's pretty violent, right? Because do you know why? It's blocking the lungs. So that epiglottis closes so that fluid and food doesn't get in the lungs because would that be a problem? Yeah. That would cause an infection, could even cause death if it's at the right spot. So we only want things flowing in one direction. But there's one that's missing called the, oh, we have the larynx. The larynx is also a fancy term for your voice box. And then there is the esophagus. Did someone put up the esophagus? Yeah. Good. So we have the bronchi as well. We're looking pretty good, people, on our list here. On this list, we're representing those organs with this model. Okay? We're representing those. What organs are we representing? What organs do we represent with this? Campbell. This could be like the mouth. Good. We did leave that one off. Mouth and nose, I would say. Could be the mouth or the nose. And then there's a couple more. Jeffrey, what do you think? Um, the, lungs. the what? Lungs. The lungs. The balloon represents the lungs. Very good. Lungs. Michael. Like the, glove the, the glove represents the diaphragm. What? The diaphragm is a muscle. What do muscles do? Very good. So let's go ahead and contract that muscle and relax it. Go ahead and contract and relax that muscle and make some observations with your seat partners. What's happening? What are some observations? Well, don't put your mouth on it. I didn't say to put your mouth on it. I said to contract and relax the muscle, the diaphragm. Thank you. Okay. So, let's talk a little bit about what we're seeing. And what we're seeing is when we contract or pull down on that diaphragm, when your diaphragm gets pulled down, what happens to those lungs? Yep. It expands. I like that. It moves. What else does it do? What do you think it's filling up with? Air. Air. And then all of a sudden, it relaxes. And what happens to your lungs? There's no what in them. Air. So let's try this really quickly. Big breath in. <gasps> Big breath out. <sighs> Big breath in. <gasps> Big breath out. <sighs> Big breath in, yoga. <gasps> Big breath out. <sighs> and this is a huge misconception because many people think that when you breathe in, because when you breathe in, what action do you usually do? You go, <gasps> and you go up. And many people think the diaphragm's going up. And is it? No, it's moving downward. And then what happens when you do the big, oh, the diaphragm goes back up. What I would like you guys to do with your models today is you're going to make a short film. And where are you going to put this film? In your CBB. And there's a part of the CBB on how do we breathe. And you're going to use this lung model to explain how we breathe. Okay? What I'd like you to do is when you are explaining, I would like you to explain what these represent, like we said, the lungs and the diaphragm. And then what happens when you breathe to the diaphragm and the lungs? 
Now this piece can represent two things. What do you think it can represent? The nose. The nose. But if you put your finger in right here at that kind of lip, that actually represents something as well. Does anyone know what it represents? Your esophagus. Very good. Now, we don't need to talk about those quite yet for breathing. We're going to talk about the path, the entire path that it takes. But right now, I want to focus on the lungs and the diaphragm and what happens to them as we breathe in. So what I'd like you to do, if you have your headphones from yesterday with the mics on them, that's probably going to help you in your video. You can go ahead and get those out. Let's take a minute to do that. <laughs> 